Do you feel like your INFP personality type holds you back in the workplace? Well, think again in this video, I'm going to tell you how to use your personality type in a better way that's more fulfilling for you and actually helps your uh, workmates as well. Let's call them workmates. What is that? Co colleagues. There you go. What's up, legend? It's Sherman here from Geek Psychology, where I help geeks, gamers, and creatives to live more fulfilling lives by unlocking the strengths of their personality type. And in this one, we're talking about INFPs in the workplace. This can be a struggle. I understand. I, I've been through it as an INFP myself. Um, my my bosses hated me, <laughs> and they 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 just didn't like that I was so slow and so like not methodical and organized with everything that I did and I didn't really care about it I was just I was just lazy because I wasn't inspired by it and so that's what I want to tell you about in this video and how to incorporate actually your personality type into your job whatever that is and some suggestions for what you should do or could do for a career so the first question is, how can INFPs really leverage their strengths of their personality type for their career? Well, you need to understand your strengths as an INFP first. And this is a mixture of two characters, as I call them. They're actually cognitive functions, uh, part of your personality type. But I call them characters because I personify everything. So you have the resonating soul. That's introverted feeling, technically. And this is about making choices and decisions that are aligned with your conscience and your values, what feels good to you, and, and staying away from what feels bad. And a lot of times it's difficult to explain that. So when you're making decisions, it can kind of just be this slow, like, trotting process like I can't think of the correct word and then that's part of the whole issue is that it's like kind of sifting through your values and your emotions and your identity to find the the key words to explain why you made this decision and people don't really have time for that in a lot of careers and it, it's aggravating for other people the other strength though and that is a strength that is a strength the other strength though is your extroverted intuition technically um you know it, it's about brainstorming about connecting ideas and and um thinking outside the box in a lot of ways and connecting this thing to this thing to this thing uh in a <laughs> mad scientist kind of way and i call it the innovating explorer so you have these two characters the soul and the explorer you mash them together and you have uh, a lot of the the superpowers that INFPs bring to the world and that is creativity tied to the core human component you know like what it means to be a, a human and deep emotional exploration so if you can bring those to your career or your job um, you're going to provide your company or whatever it is the people around you your coworkers, with um, a, a new perspective, right? And a deeper understanding of who they are and why they're doing what they're doing and the underlying intentions below that. And also you can problem solve by, you know, invoking that explorer and delving into it and saying like, well, what are the different things that we could possibly do with this? And how much fun could we have? So you're going to really want to bring those into the career and the job itself um, sometimes it's hard to do that, right? If, if you're a scientist, and you might be, it's not necessarily one of the career paths that a lot of INFPs go to, but you could be. Um, it's going to har be hard to find a place for you within that, right? Um, but there's always going to be a human interaction side of things and a human understanding side of whatever the job is even if you're working in like it you're probably not going to be as focused on the coding and like product development as well how is this going to impact people right how is this going to shape one other person's life and that perspective is necessary in in all things you know personally as an infp i might be a little biased but uh, I really do feel that that's one thing that the world really needs is that caring perspective. So bring that into the job, bring that forward, like highlight it, present it to your boss or to your coworkers and say, and say like, this is what I bring to the table and this is how I can help. 
And, you know, I can help mediate and, you know, guide people through these conflicts that are naturally going to happen. You know, when you bring two people together in any fashion, they're not going to always see eye to eye. And you can help navigate that. Right? You can help be there and say, well, I think this person's going through this based off what they're saying right now. How do you feel about it? And you can kind of interpret and translate interpersonally because of your intrapersonal inside self-understanding. Um, and I think that's, that's a beautiful gift that you can bring to the table for this that will help you stand out in your career. And eventually, though, you will probably pick up a bunch of skills on like organization and how to be more uh, extroverted in a lot of ways and how to, you know, be more proactive with your goals and uh, setting boundaries and standing up for yourself and things like that, which are uh, big struggle points for most INFPs, especially like, you know, up into mid 20s or even a little bit later. So hopefully you learn those skills as you're going through the process and you can be more fulfilling, more fulfilling. You can be more fulfilled as you, you know, uh, seek higher positions or whatever it is you want to do or just work enough that you can save enough money and go live in a cabin in the woods with your cat, drinking some tea, listening, listening to some nice chill music too. Because that's a good, that's a good uh, life right there. I would like that too.